The road season is well and truly here. The People's Choice Classic has been running since 2006 as an appetizer to the tour down under itself, giving teams an opportunity to have a hit out in this hour-long criterium. 22 laps of a 2.3km circuit in the heart of Adelaide, totalling 50.6km. Every single edition of this crit has finished in a bunch sprint, and we were anticipating the same again this evening, but that didn't stop riders attacking from the gun to try and get a move on the peloton. There were a handful of preems on offer throughout the race, the first of which was on lap 5, by which time several riders had chipped off the front to contest the lap. Manueli Bawaro just held off Fumi Yukibepu at the line. The breakaway group is now 7 strong and maintaining a decent lead of around 30 seconds as we reach the halfway point of the race. Last year's best young rider at the Tour Down Under, Jonathan Restrepo, took the second preem on offer at the end of the 10th lap. By lap 14 they were back inside of the peloton however and the escapees began to accelerate again in a bid to stay away that little bit longer. Restrepo had his eyes on the third preem of the night and he duly put in an attack on the 15th lap to secure it. With the finish line not far away the peloton were now upping the pace significantly and the catch was made midway through the 18th lap with team Sunweb leading the way looking to give young Phil Bauhaus a chance at the finish. Team Sky, Bora Hansgrohe and Lotto Sudal were also prominent at the front as the pace continued to soar. Jay McCarthy took the fourth prime on lap 20, he was pushing the pace at the head of Peter Sagan's lead out train. It was now a fight for position at the front with almost every team having a sprinter that could win this one. We were set for an all out sprint and it was Caleb Ewan who took an early move along the inside boards. His acceleration put some distance between his chasers, but powering up the middle was Andre Greipel and off his wheel came the unmistakable Peter Sagan, going straight through the gap to take a narrow win. He was second so many times in Australia last year, but he didn't have to wait long in 2018 for his first victory. You can tell he enjoyed this one, he was actually unavailable for a finish line interview because he was busy doing a victory lap. The race didn't pass off without some incident however, Team Sky's new recruit Christopher Halverson went wide into the barriers, he sustained a broken hand as a result of the fall and unfortunately won't be able to start the tour down under. We wish him all the best for his recovery and hopefully it won't be long before he's back in action. Do join us in a couple of days time for the start of the tour down under proper, we'll have race reports of all six stages here on GCN. In the meantime you can subscribe to GCN by clicking on the globe. And you can check out what happened at last year's Tour Down Under by clicking here. And for seven World Tour newcomers to watch in 2018, click here.